Hey, did you know that there was a third Nova Zark book? This is probably the last storybook that Nova, that David Kirk has made of Nova so far. Not counting Nova's Christmas presents, since it probably wasn't published. This story is called I Smell the Future, a Dog Story, featuring Sparking Number 1. I don't really have it physically, so I'll read to you what I can from the Amazon preview. Sparky was an extraordinary dog, so it stood to reason that he'd have an extraordinary nose. Only he didn't. In fact, he couldn't smell the difference between a monkey and a bar of soap, between his master and a barrel of nuts, or between dinner and a stinky rag. For this, for a dog, this was terribly embarrassing. So one morning on his daily walk with Nova, he asked for an upgrade. Of course, said Nova. I'll give you the best sniffer on the planet. Your nose will be so sensitive, he joked, you'll be able to smell the future. Sparky yipped, wondering at such marvels. He trotted ahead to tell his friends Princess Ariel and Forty Watt Dog the news. His master was the best master on road time. As Nova wired his new circuits, Sparky dreamed of the wonderful things he would smell. Morning oil would smell sweeter, his master would smell more masterful, he would smell when Cather the Cat was sneaking up behind him to scrape her sharp claws in his rump and take his warm spot, but, best, but the best trick of all would be to smell the future. And that's it, I'm afraid.